Candace Theorem on Sets. It states that there exists no surjection of a set onto its power set. That is, if A is any set and P A is its power set, it is not possible to define a surjective map. from A to P of A, the power set of A. Proof. Here it says that suppose A has some elements like X, Y, Z, then its power set P of A definitely will have set X, set Y, set Z. So if at all we maps F from A to P A, then F takes X to set X suppose, Y takes to set Y suppose, Z takes to set Z suppose. Then, there is a function, but there are some elements which are subsets of A like X, Y, X, Y, Z, Z, X and also X, Y, Z in P of A which do not have any pre-image here. That is, no element is mapped to elements like set x y, set y z, set x, set x y z, etc. And therefore, it is very clear from this example that you cannot define a surjection from A to P of A because if A has three elements, P of A we know has two raised to three elements, eight elements it will have. So. However you define a function from A to P, it is not possible to define A and on to map from A to P of A. Now we are going to prove this very analytically, analytic proof. Suppose there exists a surjection f from a to p of a. That is, if you take any a here, subset, sorry, a is any set, then p of a, you can see that p of a consists of all subsets of a. So there will be a subset a like this, this is subset A, A is a subset of A, then other subsets of A like this. Now, we assumed here F is a surjection from A to P of A. So whatever subsets if you take, elements of P of A, if you take, you can find an element some x here such that f of x is equal to that. For example, suppose b is a subset of a. Then correspondingly, you can find an x or a b in b or b in b, b in a such that f of b is equal to that b. And note that for every element, for every element, a in A 
the image f of a if you take any a here then f of a is actually a subset like this f of a is a subset of a is a subset of a <clears throat> now if you take a particular a in a you are taking a particular a in a so this is the situation here a p of a now it subsets a is the other subsets like these are the f is the surjection here from a to a p a we assumed now take a particular a in a if you take a particular a in a then f of a is a subset of f of a is a subset like this f of a this is f of a suppose f of a then f of a is a subset of a it is an element in which is an element in p of a in p of a then there are two possibilities two possibilities are there this a may be in this subset or a may be outside this subset because a is an element of a so a will be in some subsets like this so either a is in this f of a or a is not in f of a so there are two possibilities if you take any a in here either a is in f of a or a is not in f of a now let us take the case a is not in f of a that is a is somewhere here this is a this, this is same as a this a is actually the same as a so a is suppose in this subset not in f of a f of a now we consider all a subset d of a like this set of all a in a for which a is not in f of a now clearly d is a subset of a so again the picture the mapping f this is a this is p of a now d is a subset of a so d is somewhere here this is a a and d is somewhere here d is a subset of a which is an element of p of a now since f is an on to map since f is on to map from a to p of a and d is an element of and d is in p of a there exist some a not in a there exist some a not here such that this a not is mapped to d a not in a such that f of a not is equal to that's subset d now there are two possibilities there are two possibilities this a not may be in d because d is a subset of a a not is an element of a so d is somewhere suppose d is this is d so a not is not in a sometimes a no, d may be like this a not is in d suppose so there are two possibilities a not is either in d a not is not in d now if a not is in d what is the meaning of that by the definition if a is an element of a by the definition of d if a is an element of a then a, a, a is not in phi f of a because all the elements of d are such that those elements a which are not in f of a so a not is not in d 
D means it is which is equal to f of a naught. A naught is not in D which is equal to f of a naught means by the definition of D a naught is in A. So a naught is not in D implies a naught is in D. Again now suppose take a naught is in D. If a naught is in D that is a naught is in D then by the definition of elements of D a naught is not in f of a which implies a naught is not in f of a naught which is equal to D. So if a naught is in D then a naught is not in D. If a naught is not in D then you are getting a naught is in D. This is a kind of uh, contradiction. So it is a contradiction. Hence what we assumed is wrong. There exists no surjection of f from a to its power set p of a. That is the proof. Thank you.